Yeah, that's my mug hanging out there in the slipstream. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for Aviation Consumer and Avweb. I'm standing in front of the new American Legend Cub on Amphib Floats. This is a new product from American Legend and we're going to take a test flight in this with uh, owner Dick Parsons in a few minutes. But first I'd like to say that the American Legend series of aircrafts is among my favorite in the LSA segment for three reasons. Reason one is door number one. The second reason is door number two. The American Legend airplanes have an openable door on each side of the fuselage, so it's really like flying in an open cockpit airplane. The third reason we like the Legend so much is the build quality is just extraordinary. The attention to detail is second to none. Here's owner Dick Parsons to tell us about the Amphib version of this airplane. Uh, this is the first aircraft uh, built as an Amphib Cub. It comes out of the factory as an Amphib. The uh, floats are the Bauman 1500As. They're uh, an Amphib float that has a unique feature that is the Johnson Bar manual gear. It operates with a Johnson Bar. There are no hydraulics, no electrics. This airplane is a, is a uh, single configuration airplane out of the factory as an Amphib uh, due to the weight requirements. Uh, it comes with a 496 uh, Garmin Com, a Garmin transponder, and those are about the only uh, items on it. It's a very basic uh, Cub. Compared to the uh, Super Cubs I used to own, this airplane will actually outperform a 150 Super Cub uh, on straight Edo 2000s. Water handling is terrific. Um, I'm very impressed with the airplane uh, on the water and getting on and off the water. One thing that's true of all amphibs on floats is that they sit high, way high, and that gives a great view of the taxiways and runways. We set out from Venice in search of some fresh water, and in Florida it doesn't take long to find some. On the way, I did some quick performance checks. Okay, so here we are cruising along at the extreme altitude of uh, 700 feet or so above southwestern Florida, and the airspeed indicator a little better than 90 miles an hour. Uh, pretty good for floats and way faster than a... Uh, there's so much water in Florida that it can be hard to pick out where you want to put an amphib down. Dick is an old seaplane hand, so I ask him if you can land a float plane just about anywhere you want. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I, my, my rule of thumb is I make sure it looks like there's a, you know, a power boat on there or something uh, so that it's not a, you know, a city reservoir. And uh, I try to stay out of things that I kind of identify as a private, uh, well, you know, like some of these communities that have, uh, you know, ponds and other stuff like that. I just don't go in there. Try to be as good a neighbor as possible. We found a nice five-acre pond, and after dragging it for wires, we set up an approach and used barely half of it to get slowed down. Very sweet. I got a quick lesson on glassy water landings. Like most amphibs, the Baumans have retractable water rudders, which is a must for beaching the airplane. I didn't even get my feet wet. The rudders give terrific water handling, and the airplane is so light that it's easy to get it turned around quickly. As Dick said, the Legend has no trouble getting off the water. I timed a couple of 12-second takeoff runs, but Bauman's testing showed that under 10 seconds is quite doable. After a photo session at our undisclosed location, we headed back to the airport. And here we are back at Venice. Uh, we just discovered a nice little pond uh, east of I-75. We're not going to tell you where it is. We'll keep it a secret. You can find out more about the Legend Cub at legend.aero. The price as equipped is about $159,000. This is Paul Bertarelli with Dick Parsons uh, reporting for Aviation Consumer and AvWeb. Thanks for watching.